Hello, my name is Hannah Kane, and I'm president and CEO of Elon. And today I want to talk to you about supply chain. So supply chain is about getting the right product to the right user, to the right location, in the best configuration, in the right way, at the correct time, at the right cost. But it's about more than that. Supply chain is also about people and about doing the right thing. It is about community and it's about the planet. When I started ALOM 24 years ago, and here I am in a young, energetic version, my supply chain vision was that supply chain could do right by everyone. Today, that's more relevant than ever. We are seeing global warming. We are seeing a lot of impact of supply chain. I am grateful that Elon, together with our clients and with our suppliers, can make a difference. The very baseline is do no harm. And I apologize for these negative photos. There's a lot of harm that can be done in the supply chain, from forced labor to child labor, from pollution and to creating dangerous products. So do no harm has got to be the very baseline. But in addition, we can use supply chain to help the world. We can do, produce great products. One of the, my, the most satisfactory things over the last couple of years has been that we took the opportunity to produce COVID-19 test kits to help relieve the pandemic, to help curtail the pandemic. And uh, so you can uh, produce products that really make a difference, that save lives, that create happiness, and really help families uh, and individuals in the world. We can also help our staff members, of course, and here you see the ELOM staff members getting their, their vaccine shot. So we can help them socially, we can help them have great careers, and by helping our staff members, we help their families, and we also help their communities. Of course, I'm especially involved with the diversity and inclusion. And through diversity and inclusion efforts, we can provide opportunities and support the career and the income of diverse staff members. This really makes a difference. And I think we all know that diverse companies have more diverse staff members and are more conscious about these topics. And I'm very excited about having Elam University and other initiatives to make our diverse staff members very successful along with their non-diverse colleagues. But of course, supplier diversity is another key area and through, the, through supplier diversity, we can support diverse businesses and we can reach underserved communities. It's not just about WBs and MBs taking advantage of getting in front of corporations, it's certainly about how do we pay it forward to our suppliers. So last year, Elon had more than 35% uh, tier two diversity spend. And we want to keep that up because it's important for us to have the supplier base that we can really work with that are in underserved communities. We can also, all of us, treat our suppliers fairly, pay them on time and help them succeed. So that makes me feel very good, but it's more than that. It allows us to be their customer of choice. And why is that important? Well, let's say that there's a shortage of product, and we're seeing that now, microchips, empty shelves, a lot of different areas. Well, who are they going to support? The, the company that maybe abused them, paid them late, uh, ne negotiated price down, didn't get back to them, et cetera, et cetera. Or are they going to work with a company that treats them fairly? And so that's why you can uh, develop your ecosystem around the fairness process, around being a community that works together to develop great products. We can also work with our suppliers to make sure that they are not just diverse suppliers, but they also adhere to the same principle and they pay it forward. And so you see that by doing the right things, you can have a ripple effect in the community. Now, shifting to a thing that's near and dear to my heart uh, more than anything, each of us have a duty to our planet. 
I was in Antarctica some years back, and I just loved seeing the beautiful eyes, the wildlife there. And I've visited the Arctic too with the polar bears and also a very beautiful nature. And it breaks my heart to see the ice melting and see all the impact, the negative impact of global warming. That's why I and my staff members started our Net Zero Supply Chain Sustainability Initiative. So we are working uh, to a net zero carbon footprint across supply chain operations by 2030. When we look at the carbon emissions threaten, threaten humanity and our entire ecosystem. But, but just curtailing carbon emission is not enough. We need to avoid other ways. We need to avoid other hazards. So uh, making sure to only produce what we need such as uh, in digital print, where we only uh, do exactly what we need, or avoiding our heavy metals that uh, we uh, don't want to, be, to spread in the environment. There are lots of initiatives we can work on, and we have uh, this year 77 employee-started initiatives that we are following. Supply chain professionals, more than any other business professionals, have such a big impact on the supply chain. We can avoid unnecessary freight, we can avoid air freighting things, we can avoid trash, we can recycle, we can um, make sure that the planet is handled more gently in many, many ways. And it's not just me or corporations telling you that you should uh, look out for the environment. Consumers are telling us that they expect us to do the right thing. If we learned one thing throughout the pandemic, it is consumer sentiments are shifting and they're shifting rapidly and strongly towards consumers feeling that we should all work together to save the planet and to do right by each other. It's a consumer mandate. So we have a lot of responsibility, but in the end, we are privileged in being able to use our jobs to make a difference, and we welcome the challenge. So I want you to today join me in making a difference. And if you want more information about how to make a difference, I am certainly available for you anytime you'd like to contact me. Thank you for listening today and go out and make a difference.